I lost my main account to a hacker for some reason, so I have to restart now. How can you guys be hacked? Guys, don't click on links like hot hot moms close to your area. Don't. And never click on fishy links, man. Don't be horny and click on hot moms 50 plus close to your area with big boobs. Don't click on that. It's fishy. If you're horny, go to brothers or something. I don't care, man, but don't do stupid shit. Or watching Twitch, hot tubs, I don't know. Have you ever clicked on a suspicious ad on internet at any point of your life, even a big download button? Never, because I never did. You know why? Because my mom always told me. She said, Nico, you don't click on those links or I will punch your ass. And I was afraid of my mom. When she punched my ass, it was hurtful. So I didn't click on those links. My mom told me. <laughs> when my mom told me. When my mom told me don't do it. Bro, I did it twice. When my mom said you don't go outside. I went through the fucking window and went outside. I didn't care. <laughs> my mom always tried. But I was a rebel man. I was a big bad boy. <laughs> my mom said. Bro. I never said this on stream before, but my my mom said all the time, Nico, you don't you don't take that ice out of the out of the cooler. You don't eat that. What I did, I ate the whole thing in one day. I ate the whole thing. My mom was pissed off. Every time she wanted to have some ice cream, there was no none left. So what she did. Cool. What she did, Girls are hot. she put a lock onto the cooler man. There was a lock. Can you imagine? Can you imagine your mom putting a lock onto the cooler because she wants to have ice cream? <laughs> but I'm a fox. I'm smart. What I did, I knew where the key was. I knew where the key was. And I knew how to hide. So what I did, I went to this key and opened up the cooler again. Yeah, fuck off, mom. I'm too smart for this shit. <laughs> Your mom did that too? <laughs> she also had the job in driving me to school because school was really far away. And my mom had the same lifestyle which I have right now, playing games all day or night. Um, I think probably that that's where it comes from. You, you know, that's just where it comes from. And, uh, but she took it uh, to an extent. Uh, she, she played till like 6, 7 a.m. Then went to sleep. And my school started at 7 a.m. So what I had to do as a 7 years old child is waking up my mom. And of course she is in a fucking bad mood when I wake her up. Of course she is. Playing card strike the whole night with her clan. And then a fucking child coming. Hey mom, you have to drive me to school. After like 20 minutes of sleep, bro, she was pissed the whole man. Living with my mom was something, was something really fun. <sighs> I came to school, I came late to school so often, so often, dude. Um, also, I waited after, that's what, that was the uh, most embarrassing shit. After school, I had to, I had to wait many, many hours and many days waiting for my mom picking me up. <clears throat> it was hilarious. Even even the um, how, what do you say? Um, the facility manager came to me a lot of times and and asked me, "Hey man, do you want to call your mom and maybe maybe?" And I was okay and called my mom and then she picked me up. But bro, my mom was something special. That's why I'm so fucking retarded. I think the worst thing I did as a child was um, from my stepdad. I hated my stepdad. What I did, I, I was stealing 200 euros from my stepdad and went to the local store and bought Yu-Gi-Oh cards for 200 euros. I remember this day with my best friend. We were there and and the, uh, the, the cashier asked me, Hey, where do you get that much money from? Of course, if you're like 10 years old and you have like fucking 450 euro notes in your fucking hand, of course they're gonna ask. But I was a good boy. I said, my, my grand, my, I had birthday, my grandpa. 
<laughs> yeah, I bought Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Mm. I tell you, man, if you steal 200 euros and you go to the local store and buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and we all know how bad boys Yu-Gi-Oh cards were back in the days, dude. You? you have been the king if you had, like, a blue eyes white dragon, man. Everybody loved you, right? They bullied you, but if you showed them this card, everybody loved you. So, nice feeling. I, I, I got many cards. The best five minutes of my life. But then I got home, dude. Then I got home. And you know this feeling? You know you have done something wrong? You know that? And you come home, you open the door, and your mom looks at you. And she says like, Nico, we have to talk. Do you know this feeling? Do you know this? Yeah. And I, of course, I was like, uh, what do you mean, mom? What did I do? Uh, I don't understand. What do you do? What, what, uh, what is happening? Yeah. Oof. It was uh, fun. It was really, really fun. I think that's why I'm, I'm living in a cave. That's why I, I live a goblin lifestyle because... Oh, Lady Chucky. Thank you for the bits. Um, I think that is the reason because of my childhood. That is the reason why I live inside a cave because... In my adult age, I finally have a place where I feel home, you know, feel safe, have a safe spot. I don't didn't have that as a child. I think that's why.